Namaste and welcome to today's episode. Now in this current pandemic, uh, one of the things that is coming out is that people are going through a lot of severity of conditions. Okay? Lot of issues related to uh, if you get this new pandemic or if you get this infection or this virus. Now, a lot of theories around it, a lot of uh, reasons, everybody is trying to give a lot of stories around it. But I would want to draw your attention to one thing, why the severity is too high, why the severity this time is too high and what is leading to our immune system to be suppressed. Because if your immune system is suppressed, uh, your immune system will not be able to fight anything that is invading or attacking your body. Okay. So now this virus is attacking our body, but our immune system is suppressed. So now immune system gets suppressed because the number one factor besides genetics and other thing is, is, is diet. Okay. Now what happens is if your diet, you're eating while, uh, when you're preventing yourself while you are at risk or maybe at a recovery stage, if your diet is not proper, your immune system gets suppressed. You know, the easiest way to suppress your immune system is by increasing your blood sugar levels, by increasing your insulin levels. So if your blood sugar levels are high, if your insulin levels are high, leading to a lot of uh, uh, dis- uh, lipidemia, okay, hypertension, elevated blood sugar, okay, central obesity, central adiposity means fat around your waist, around your stomach. Okay, If these are high, what happens is you have a lot of systemic inflammation. Your body creates a lot of inflammation. Okay, When the body creates a lot of inflammation, your immune system gets suppressed. When the immune system gets suppressed and you come in contact with the virus, the severity of inflammation and a and, uh, lot of uh, patches being formed or blood clot happening would be on a very, very high uh, specs. So if you're looking to fix your immune, uh, your health, in case you come in contact with the virus, I think the best thing you have to do is reduce your blood sugar levels. Okay. Now, India is the diabetic capital of the world. We have the highest number of, of people who are diabetic. But then this does not take into account people who are pre-diabetic and who have high uh, blood sugar level or who have high insulin level, which we have not accounted for. Now, if you get infected, unfortunately, or you are under... Uh, supervision follow what your doctors are telling you to do but as a preventive care i think work on reducing your insulin load work on reducing your blood sugar level now one of the easiest way to do is that during the recovery phase during the time that you're in hospital try and avoid a lot of fruit juices okay try and avoid food which has got high fructose content in it because fructose gets converted into fat by your liver and causes your obesity central adiposity and a lot of other issues. Okay. Second thing that you should be look at, doing at is reducing your carbohydrate intake and adding protein. I've been always advocating that add 20 to 40 grams of protein in your diet. Now this can be through natural form of food like your legumes, but which are rich in carbohydrates. It can be your lean meats and protein. It can be your egg. It can be your uh, uh, paneer if you are and tofu if you are taking dairy and soy products. But in case you're not able to get this, I think adding a protein in a supplement form, maybe a whey protein or a rice protein or a pea protein would be a good idea. Increase your protein intake and reduce your carbohydrate intake. This will reduce your blood sugar levels uh, to a large extent. Reducing blood sugar will reduce systemic inflammation in your body caused by high blood sugar. That reduces your chances of severity of condition And that speeds up your recovery in case you are fighting this COVID. Have a wonderful evening, everyone, and we'll catch up soon. Namaste.